It's Mac the Guru. This is my preview for Power Book 2 Season 3, Episode 3. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, click that like button, and check out the other content. Now, the first thing I see in this trailer, and I don't know how this happened, but somehow Nomaz Man is threatening Tariq, Effie, and Brayden that they better have a million dollars by the time of the next drop. Or he's going to knock off Diana of all people. I don't know how he got to Diana. Like to choose her out of everybody. But I do know one thing. I do not like the fact that he's telling Brayden, Effie, and Tariq without Kane there. They better let Kane know. They better let Monet know. They better let somebody in Diana family know. Here, let Diana know. That her life might be on the line if they don't come up with this money. Because even though I know Tariq care about Diana. Let somebody that knew her for a long time. Really love her. Know about this situation. To put some urgency into people. Right? Because they already got a new connect up at the job with Braden and with his family. Right? If they still not making enough money for the drop. They need to reach out to Monet. Definitely let Kane know. Let everybody know. All hands on deck. Now, also in this episode, we should see Diana start pushing back against Effie. Because she's seen Effie with Tariq, and she now knows that Effie played her. Effie talked her out of talking to Tariq just so she could get in there and get in close. So best believe, I know she flirting with the, the dude, the T.A., Kareem. I know she flirting with him. But even if she get with him, even if they do something, she's still going to like Tariq. Best believe her likeness and Tariq liking her, it ain't just going to go nowhere. That ain't going to happen. Now, another big thing we see happening is Whitman closing in on Monet. I mean, he is on her head. He got everything figured out. The one thing that might do him in, I can really see him being too aggressive and getting in trouble as a cop. Like doing too much and getting caught on camera doing too much or somebody see him, a witness see him doing too much. And then he end up losing his job. Because even though he got it right, it's a possibility he might let his emotions get the best of him. And he messed this up for not just him, but Rodriguez and for Jenny. Like, he literally messed it up for anybody. And if he figured out or find out that Lauren is still alive, he might lose his emotions talking and let that slip too. I don't trust this dude from that standpoint, even though I know he's a good cop and he's trying to do his job. I also can see him getting with Jenny and Sax getting mad. But that's a whole nother prediction video. Now, in order for them to get out this situation, they're going to call on Davis. Davis to the rescue. I do want to see what exactly he's going to do to get them out this situation and to get this guy to bag up off of them. Because whatever he do, whatever he say, it's going to be a temporary thing. It ain't going to work for a, more than a few episodes. It's going to be straight temporary. This guy ain't bagging off for nothing. But besides that, another thing to look out for in this episode is more little sprinkles of Brayton and Effie being deceitful to Tyreek. They building on that until it explode and Tyreek explode on both of them. One, really start having a fight with Brayden. And then two, him and Effie going to be done. But y'all let me know what y'all think going to happen this next episode. I like the first two. They getting into it slow, but I like the first two. I'm sure it's going to build up and get really, really good by mid-season. It's Mac the Guru. If you're still here and you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Click that like button. And like always, man, y'all be easy. Be safe. Peace.